Hi, my name is Emily Rosenthal and I'm a graduate student in the Department of Polymer Science at the University of Akron. I work for Dr. Judith Puskas on disulfide polymers and gels. The materials I make may someday be used as implants in the body. Today we're going to mix some chemicals together and make a polymer. First let's take a look at the vocabulary. Our first vocabulary word is monomer. Monomers are small molecules that react to form large chain-like molecules called polymers. Polymerization is the chemical reaction by which monomers are turned into polymers. Our last vocabulary word is oxidation. Oxidation is a chemical reaction where one compound loses electrons. This chemical reaction often involves oxygen or oxygen-containing molecules. Now let's take a look at the chemicals. In this reaction, our monomer is 3,6-dioxa-1,8-octane dithiol. Our second ingredient is triethylamine. Triethylamine is a catalyst that makes the reaction go faster. Our third ingredient is hydrogen peroxide, just like the hydrogen peroxide you might find in your first aid cabinet. Our last ingredient is air. Together with hydrogen peroxide, they make a powerful oxidizing system that allows the monomer to react to become a polymer. In the fume hood, I have set up a typical reaction apparatus. It includes a reaction flask and a reflux condenser. The reflux condenser has water circulating, which condenses any vapors and forces them to fall back into the reaction flask. Many reactions are heated in organic chemistry, but this reaction is exothermic, so I don't need to heat it. For the sake of time, I'll be performing the reaction in a small vial. First, the monomer and triethylamine are mixed. This gets the monomer ready to react. The lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen are able to remove a proton from the end of the monomer. This turns the thiol group at the end of the monomer into a thiolate anion, which reacts more quickly. Next, we add hydrogen peroxide and swirl the vial. When the sulfur anions are oxidized, they form disulfide bonds which link the monomers together. As more hydrogen peroxide is added, more sulfur anions link together and the molecule grows bigger. Once we've added all of our peroxide, and allowed the vial to cool a little bit, we can take out our glob of polymer. This polymer has neat characteristics because it stays flexible at low temperatures. Also, the disulfide bonds can be broken down by some chemicals in the body. So now you've seen a polymerization. Yay, science!